Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, this is something I don't do that often. Um, it's, it's a little outside of the box, I guess you can say. Um, this band actually features a friend of mine, and I've been granted the honor of reviewing this album, and would like to give these guys a shout out. Um, this album is called Unfinished Business by The Black Tie Affair, and I have indeed had the chance to listen to it. Um, if you guys want to check these guys out, um, their album is going to be in the description below. You can subscribe to the band as well, show them some support, that'd be awesome. Now we start off with the intro track, which as you may or may not know is key for me. When listening to an album, um, the intro track gives me a bit of an introduction into what exactly I'm stepping into. And the intro track is really awesome. It gave me a bit of an all-American rejects feel, took me back to the good old days, early 2000s. I mean, take all-American rejects and give them a harder, and heavier breakdown, and add a few other metalcore and alternative influences, and you've got this awesome intro track here. Um, the hard and heavy breakdowns fit very well with the softer and more calming interludes. I think the vocals uh, really gave me that good metalcore feel. Um, the mix of the singing and the growls create really good variety, not just on this song, I mean, throughout the album. Especially on the second track, actually, um, which is called Mark My Words, which goes for a bit more of an upbeat, fast-paced kind of feel. Uh, this album altogether has a great way of keeping the listener interested by having variety, and musical evolution, rather than sounding the same in every song. Um, some tracks are faster and heavier, some are a little toned down and slower paced, which is really cool. I mean, the recording and production quality of this album is definitely top notch. It sounds professionally done, to be honest. I really dig it. Uh, the guitar work all throughout this album is just wicked. I really want to point out the soaringly awesome guitar solo in the song I mentioned earlier, actually, Mark My Words, which was actually one of my favorite songs off the album. And I'm not just saying good things about this album because it's my friend's band. Um, I'm, I'm approaching this album as a typical fan who has never heard of these guys before and giving my honest and genuine opinion. And I honestly think that this album is awesome. If you're looking for more of a pop-punk slash metalcore-ish anthem-type track, I recommend the song It's Not Me, It's You. That song really has a Blink-182 or Jimmy Eat World kind of feel to it, which, again, brings me back. A couple other tracks I'd like to recommend are uh, would have to be Right Where You Left Me, Holding On, and uh, what was the other one? Purgatory, that's it. Um, another personal favorite off the album for me, at least, was the song Paper Tigers. That song got to me. <laughs> this album's definitely worth the listen, especially if you're into bands I mentioned earlier, kind of like Simple Plan, um, Blink-182, Jimmy Eat World, uh, even All That Remains, if you want to throw that in there. Um, it's, it's good. There's Sum 41, too. That's another one that really, you can really hear some influences off of those guys. Uh, it's really good stuff, man, and I, I got nothing bad to say about this album. I'm, again, I'm going to provide a link in the description below. If you guys check out the album and like it, subscribe to these guys. That would be totally awesome. Show them some support. Thank you guys for watching.